Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and I'm going to give you a quick tip today on how you can cause a clip to manually follow the tempo of your Sonar X1 project. I'm using X1 Producer. This should be the same throughout other versions of Sonar, with the exception of the fact that in order to get access to the audio snap function, which I'm going to be using, you're going to need either the mid-range or highest level versions of X1. So if you have Sonar X1 Essential, uh, you're not going to have access to Audio Snap, which I'm going to be using in this session. That said, as long as you've got that, you should be good to go. So usually when we bring a clip into Sonar, the clip is going to be automatically warped and looped in order to play along with the tempo of Sonar, and we can hear that with this clip that I've got right here. So right now it is keeping in, tra in uh, track with the tempo and then I've globally set in sonar, which I can set right here in my transport now. However, sometimes you want to treat a clip a little bit differently. You don't want it to be warped and looped. You want to cause it to follow the tempo of your sonar project because you might have tempo changes down the road or maybe you export a song and you find that you want to speed the song up a little bit as a mix down. So this is how we can do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on my clip that I have here in my timeline and this is going to open up the clip inspector on the bottom of Sonar. Here you're going to notice this little button right here. This is the enable looping button and in order to disable that we just click it or we press the L button on our keyboard and I'll show you what happens when I disable it. You can see that that clip is resizing and that's because this is the difference between it being looped or it being sliced up and uh, warped in order to keep in time with your project. In order to do what I need to do, I'm going to disable the looping on this project. So now I have my clip selected and I'm going to use Audio Snap in order to tell this clip how I want it to pay attention to the tempo of my project. So I'm going to open Audio Snap by pressing the A button on my keyboard. And that's going to open up the Audio Snap palette. Now I need to enable Audio Snap for my clip. Make sure your clip is selected then here in the Audio Snap palette click on the power button. This is going to enable the audio snap option for this clip that I'm currently working with and now I'm going to go ahead and click on the button that says toggle clip follows project and what this is going to do is it's going to cause this clip to follow the project's global tempo. So I'm going to close up the audio snap palette now and I'm going to play this back and change the tempo a little bit and I'll show you how the clip is now going to be forced to sync along with the tempo of my sonar project. So you can hear that the tempo is changing there as I go along. Now, this is all going to depend on what kind of production you're doing, what kind of work you're doing, things like that. But this, again, can be really useful for a number of different things depending on uh, what it is that you need to do with your audio in Sonar X1. I hope that this has been useful to you guys as always. Please stay in touch with me. My email is brian at obedia.com. You can get me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor. And of course on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash obedia tutor. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy music making to you.